Welcome back to the post game show presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23. Division I Athletics join the Maroon Club today and our player of the game presented by Coca-Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. Here is Mike Ventola. Yes, Gary, we're here with Coach Kia Damon. And Coach, uh, after a first quarter, your team really rallied, put out a ton of strong effort out there this evening. I know falling a little short. What do you think uh, kind of slowed your team down there in the final quarter? Well, it was clearly the turnovers um, and their pressure. If we didn't turn it over, um, their pressure got us out of our offense. And then we weren't quick to get ourselves organized so that we could get a good shot. So we were getting late in the shot clock and had to rush. And we just weren't getting quality looks. Now, I know Patriot League play is extremely important. It's the time when wins are, more, are extremely important. Now, as you're getting prepared for your next contest, what do you want to see your team improve in practice when you guys uh, get back on the floor tomorrow? Composure, because we have a game plan. We know how to handle pressure. Um, it's not the first time all season we've handled pressure. Um, I'd just like to see us respond a little bit better collectively. It wasn't just one individual. It was, it was the whole group. Um, we know that in order for us to be successful, we got to get great shots at the basket, and unfortunately that didn't happen enough today. All right, Coach, good luck. No problem. Thank you. All righty, and next we have our player of the game, Anna Tuzinski. And Anna, first and foremost, congratulations on tying a career high uh, with your five three-pointers here tonight. I know it's a little tough because you're going to get the win tonight, but for your effort there in quarters two, three, and four, what did you think of it here this evening? Yeah, you know, I mean, we always know Army's going to be a hard defend, like a hard opponent. You know, they always come out working really hard. So we're unfortunate that they came out on top today. Now, as you're getting prepared for your next game, Patriot League play being so important, wins earned so important, what would you like to see you and your team improve upon in practice? Yeah, I mean, it's the little things. It's the rebounds, the hustle plays. It's the, the small little things that we can do. Like, we're good. We can do it. All right, and good luck the rest of the night. Thank you. All righty, Gary, John, back to you. All right, Mike, nice having you aboard this evening. Thank you very much. Mike Joseph will be back for Sunday's ball game. Here's John with the highlights. Well, Gary, you know, Army does, they did what they do. I mean, they, they, they pound the ball inside, and uh, Madison hovering a quiet first half for her, Gary, but at the end, uh, she got her double-double. 14 points, 10 rebounds, scoring in a variety of different ways. Great entry pass here, uh, and uh, Madison hovering shows why she's one of the premier players in the Patriot League. It was Libby Taka who was uh, doing the damage from the perimeter. Army does not shoot the ball often, nor do they shoot it very well from the perimeter, except for Libby Taka. And every time Lafayette lost track of her, she made Lafayette pay. For Lafayette, it was Anna Tuzinski, our Coca-Cola player of the game. Gary, five threes, when she gets it going, uh, you know, she is just, she gets that ball on a string and, and she's deadly. She can really stretch a defense. I love the freshman class, Olivia Martino doing a great job. Look at the dribble drive by Stippa. The last minute kicks it out to Drew Freeland, another freshman, terrific shooter. And uh, down the stretch though, Murray and the uh, inside people from Army uh, just did a terrific job. It was the relentless defense and the turnovers. Uh, that's Murray on the finish, that was a three point play. And at that point, Army started taking control. You know, you see the thing, Gary, the spacing's not there. They just jam that ball inside, but, you know, they do it effectively, and uh, it isn't always pretty, uh, but Army gets it done. They got it done again tonight as uh, they win this one 65-60. to 60. Here's how the points shook out. 65 points by Army on 24 field goals as they shot 46% from the floor, 4 for 13 from beyond the arc, 13 for 19 from the free throw line. Double doubles by Madison Hovren. That's Madison's 11th of the year. Libby Tackle with 14 points and a double-double by Aaliyah Murray. She seemed like she was all over the floor, leading scorer at 17 points and 10 rebounds. For Lafayette, there's 60 points on 20 field goals. 8 for 18 from beyond the arc, 12 for 17 from the free throw line. They turned it over 15 times to Army 16, but they turned the ball over 10 times in the second half. They're scoring 17 for Anna Tuzinski, 14 for Drew Freeland, and 11 for Olivia Martino. Lafayette goes to 6-9, and 2-3 and three in the league. Army goes to 9-7, and 2-3 and three in the league. Lafayette will take on Loyola on Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock. We will be here to bring you that ball game. By we, I mean Ricky O and the RCN television team, along with John Leone, Mike Joseph will be back joining us for that basketball game. For all of us, I thank you for spending time with us tonight. I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody.